Welcome back, troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. For Fender Friday this week, a bizarre Stratocaster showed up on Reverb. It's described as a Fender master-built custom shop Strat that was built by Jay Black. I mean, that might not sound all that special in and of itself, but take a look at this thing. What is going on here? It really does take a few seconds to fully understand what this instrument is, because that's not a normal Stratocaster. So what Jay did here for this custom build is he took a left-handed Stratocaster body, but still made it in the right-hand oh. configuration with a right-handed pickguard, though slightly modified so it would go all the way up to the top of the horn. Oh, and just in case you missed it, it still has the fin shaping of a right-handed guitar, and I think that's what makes this so bizarre looking. And on top of that, the whole guitar is just sparkly. You have a highly sparkly gold finish around the body, and then your pickguard is kind of a silver color, and then the fretboard seems to be some sort of mix between the two. Pair that with the metal knobs, and then you just kind of have regular pickups. This thing really is a doozy to look at. Even flipping it around to the other side doesn't make much more sense for us righty guitar players. Because it's got all the same stuff going on. Sparkly backplate and neck included. Playing this would have to feel so weird because usually when you have a Stratocaster, you've got this large horn there kind of keeping you anchored. Now you're gonna have less of a playing surface in that area and it's all sculpted up with the belly cut and the bevel cut on the front. And moving on to the back of the headstock, you can see his signature, JW Black, with the Fender Custom Shop logo. But what I'm wondering is, are these gold tuners or have they just been crazily reliced? It's hard to tell from this photo. It's pretty clear to me that this instrument wasn't meant to be played seriously because, you know, higher fret access on this guitar, eh, not so good. But it is an attention getter piece between the flip flopped body, the weird pick guard and the super sparkly finish. The seller of this one is located in Paris, France, and he's asking six thousand two hundred ninety eight dollars and eighty two cents. And he's got a bunch of buzzwords in his title here. Master built, custom shop, JW Black. But the one that caught my eye the most was Zappa. What does this have to do with Frank Zappa? And according to his listing, there were only two guitars ever built with this finish. And the other one was for Zappa and was a thin line of some sort. So let's see if we can find that. Okay, here we go. I was assuming this was for Frank Zappa, but I was wrong. This is for Dweezil, his son. And apparently that guitar got sold about three years ago for somewhere around twelve and a half thousand dollars. But this one's kind of got something different going on. It is a thin line Stratocaster, and I'm not really sure when Fender started doing that on Stratocasters. I thought that was a fairly new thing with the Eric Johnson Stratocasters, but I guess those were just the first one to keep the arm contour. So if anybody knows like the first thin line Strat, I'd be interested in knowing that. So a thin line Strat from the early 90s, that's kind of cool. Nope. Notice that they have the F-hole way down than they do for the Eric Johnson ones. But this one's got that same crazy finish going on. It looks like we have pearl dot inlays here with a reversed headstock on this one, but the body is the same. So besides being a semi-hollow and having a Floyd Rose, this it's a pretty standard Stratocaster next to the reversed headstock. But this thing looks pretty cool. Are we missing a screw right here? I'm not quite sure. But man, these photos. Oh, this finish is super popping out. I'm glad I found this old listing. I'm sure this would be a super special treat to play in person because it would just be so shiny. This is definitely meant for somebody to take out on stage and get attention with. I'm curious what the fretboard feels like. I'm guessing it's kind of like a maple board where they finish over it though. And it reads Fender Custom Thin Line. Oh, that's cool. They have that rounded off corner on this one too to make it easy to play. And upon the super close up on the pick guard, it looks like there's just little hexagon silver things in here. Then you've got much, much smaller sparkle flakes in the finish of the instrument. I didn't even know this magazine was a thing, but here's Dweezil Zappa with that guitar if that's what you want. But notice the pickups are actually different in the magazine shoot. So while this instrument was clearly made to be the best playing Stratocaster possible with all those cutaways and everything on the back, this one's like the unpopular brother that's just very difficult to play. But hey, at least it has the body fin right here. This one has more of a flat top. 
So with this one listing around 12 and a half thousand, this $6,000 price tag doesn't quite seem as bad, but then again, it's not necessarily as playable either. Before today, I had never heard of this Jay Black from the Fender Custom Shop. I guess he's semi-what retired now, builds his own guitars under his own brand. He's got a website, jwblackguitars.com. And it looks like he used to do repair work for people, but now he's retired from that. He also wrote a Fender bass book. So you can definitely check out his website if you're interested in seeing some things that he's done recently. But under the Fender Custom Shop Notes category, he has photos of the olden days at the Custom Shop and guitars that he made within these eras. So that's kind of cool to see. And I was able to find this guitar on his website. So hey, how cool is that? A custom one-off and a finish that only Dweezil Zappa could custom order. I especially appreciate this photo. Classy. As far as a playing demo, I'm sorry, I could not find one of this guitar. But I did find a small segment when Fender brought Mr. Black back to the custom shop to recreate what he was doing back when he worked for the company. So I'll play you a little bit of that and give you a sound demo of another one of his creations. I'm J.W. Black. We wanted to do a guitar project for the 30th anniversary of the custom shop. Um, I was one of the people there in the early days, and this represents what I was doing at the time. Fancy quilt, fancy flame, inlay, uh, abalone, gold hardware. We called them Dr. Lawyer guitars. The only question left, would you rock the reverse bodied strat or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.